I remember on the weekends, John and Kathy and I would be in the back bedroom, and mom or dad would say, hey, the Hinkles are coming over. And all. So Mark and Don and us three played, and we were like, you know, playing at least once a week, because they, um, the families loved each other very much. Um, going back in history, uh, I was born yesterday, 1950, and my mom was working, dad was in New York, um, marrying another woman. Uh, so anyway, mom, uh, my time had come, and she writes that she uh, finished her work at the doctor's office. Um, my recollection, and uh, Al told the story too many times, we both said it together, that uh, since dad was gone, uh, Al drove her to the hospital because uh, I was being born. And uh, I've always loved that story, and I um, am very proud that he was there for us all those years, too. Um, so getting ready for today, I got Mom's book off the road and told Brandy, well, i got to find that page, you know, and I'll read it, maybe, or something. Um, well, it was a complete lie. <laughs> it says she worked at the office. She went home, she had a cup of coffee with Helen and hailed a cab. But Al and I, all those years, shared this story of our bond, how he helped mom deliver, you know, had me delivered. So I'm gonna stick to that story. <laughs> he was so, so generous, helped the Cassidy's uh, so much. He came to start. And um, what a sweetheart. I just, one time Randy and I went there. Um, We've been seeing a lot of him lately and things. We lived in San Jose for a while. And all of a sudden, like five years ago or 10 years ago, he started telling us the story how he and dad did the trapeze at the Denver Y. And I'd known him all those years. I never heard that story. And we just went bananas. It was such a good story. So, uh, you know, every time we were with him, he always had some nugget of fascinating history. Uh, concerning our families, and uh, really going to miss him. He's quite a man. Yeah. I think he's having fun though with Helen and Carolyn and Neil and Jack and Bill and Ellen and. Uh, yeah.